Hey, Tommy. He's lighting a fire in the tavern because we want to dry it out because of yesterday's issues. So the rug is outside. Yesterday we put it out too and then it started to rain. That's outside drying. And we had a fan out over all night to dry the floor. Did a pretty good job. And the couch is dry now. So now we just really want to dry everything out because it's been so damp and moist. But our problem is that the wood is wet because we had a little bit of rain. But look at this really cool fire in the fireplace. This is my favorite part of this tavern when we have a fire. So cool. So I might as well show you the cool things in the tavern now while I'm in here with the camera. I have this great pewter, mostly picked up from Salvation Army, a couple antique places, but all on the cheap. So it's really great and a tavern sign that I bought at that fair a few weeks ago. The Country Bazaar, honey, that's a beautiful fire. And this fireplace is uber, uber cool because it's 230 years old. And we have a beehive oven. We have to fix some of the mortar there before we use it. But I'd love to make pizzas or something in there. Then over here we have this really nice reproduction step back cupboard that I picked up at Bernada Antiques. And again, full of pewter. That's one of the chairs that I moved out of the living room to move in here. Put this table in here, right in the center, and I moved it right there on this wall. And amazingly enough, I can just open that door with that table there. So that's really good because we open the door a lot in the warmer weather. In the colder weather, we won't need to. And this really cool cupboard that was left at the house when we bought it. Again, full of pewter. And just to see what I did, I've decorated with a few pumpkins and some more hydrangeas and kind of made that my theme here. And we've got a door to the upstairs. That's our daughter's kind of apartment. And then on the wall, I've got a whole grouping of prints that I picked up at the Salvation Army and framed with stock frames, 60% off at Michael's. And I really like them. They just give this real subtle look to the walls. The walls were white when I moved in, but I painted them kind of a putty color because I wanted this room to be just dark and moody like a tavern would be. And then I put up more of those swag curtains in here. And then here's my super cool couch. I have a lot of work to do today on the computer, but I'm thinking I'm gonna sit in here on my laptop. So we've got this really cool bar in the tavern and you can see I decorated it this fall with just a woven mat and then hydrangeas and pumpkins and pretty little lantern lights and a soup tureen given to me my, by my mom when I moved into the house and it was a gift that she picked up at a thrift store and it turns out it was her sister's <laughs> and her family donated it to the thrift store so it's kind of funny. And then some flowers from the garden. And then I've got a bear. In honor of the Russian bear, I picked him up at Brimfield. And he has 19 crimes of wine in there. And I probably haven't told you the whole story about the history of this house yet. And I will. So there's a teaser for another video. And some super old wallpaper. Because this was the Russian bear, we have the original Russian bear sign, and 
it's pretty cool. And then this this uh, gate that actually comes down and closes on the bar. I never do that, but in the olden days, when they weren't serving drinks anymore, they would put the gate over the bar.